Hey everyone, welcome to the Wild and Uncut podcast brought to you by Ruger. I'm your host, Christy Titus. Thank you for tuning in. The line is going hot, so let's go full send on this episode. I'm here with two amazing men. I got Luke Caudillo, MMA fighter, professional fighter. I got Josh Walker, NFL football player, host of, what did you say your podcast Retired was? Retired to hunt. I got some testosterone around <laughs> me. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. he's like, punch me as hard as you can. And I'm oh, like, I, ah, yeah. I can't. You I can't pop him. And everything. You should have popped him. I'm good at what I do, you know. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. If you think a turkey gobble's cool, you haven't experienced anything until elk bugle yeah. in your face. Like, yeah. it's, it's incredible. I think people look at predator hunting like a cat or a bear or something. They think you shoot it and you drive around and you throw it in a ditch when you're done with it. You know what I mean? But, like, all that stuff's getting used, right? Yeah. Uh, bear meat's really good. The cat. Blew me away how good that meat was. Very mild tasting. It's almost like wild pork. The rise in participation of women and kids in both hunting and shooting sports has encouraged firearms manufacturers to produce rifles that offer out-of-the-box adjustability. One of the many reasons that I love Ruger firearms is that they manufacture rifles for everyone. Many models like this Ruger Hawkeye Long Range Hunter feature spacers that can be easily added or removed from the buttstock of the rifle, providing a comfortable fit and ease of use for all responsible citizens. I'm a proud Ruger American, and you should be too. Hey everybody, thank you for tuning into this episode of the Wild Nut Cut Podcast. I'm here with two amazing men. To my right, I got Luke Caudillo, MMA fighter, professional fighter, instructor, like trainer, I don't know what you call that. No, and coach, yeah. Coach. All around badass, a host of Gladiators yeah. Unleashed podcast. And then I got over here, I got Josh Walker, NFL football player, host of, what did you say your podcast Retired was? Retired to hunt. Retired to Retired to hunt. To hunt. Retired to yeah. hunt. Retired to hunt. Yeah, I got like, I got some testosterone. Oh, you do. We're we're lacking it today, though. Oh, no question. Yeah. I know. I'm I know. sitting in this chair, and my feet are dangling, and like Josh is like a giant man, and Luke is just jacked. I don't know about that, but <laughs> I'm pleasantly plump nowadays. Pleasantly I know, you plump. know what? I was talking about that with Aaron yesterday about how chunky I am, and he's like, you know. He's like, I was out this summer and I was shooting my bow and I had my tennis shoes on and my socks are pulled to my knees and I'm white as a sheet. And he goes, you know, if I was trying to get a lady, and that's not how I put it, he's like, I wouldn't be dressed like this. He goes, you're just comfortable. You're not trying anymore. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. It's true when you get in that little comfort zone. Yeah. But, yeah, I know. I'm like, my husband, he loves me. I know. I don't want to take that for granted, though, right? Like, Mm. we're still in the gym every Mm. day. I know. I mean, I like to eat with the man. I like to drink wine with the man. But I don't want to get, like... You yeah, know, too long. Oh, right? I know. I, but I have, you know. Oh, I can't wait to have sex with the lights on again one day. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, That's pretty good. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, I that, is that a post retirement <laughs> thing? Like you're like, I'm retired now, yeah. so uh, this is the way it is. It is. I mean, you just get comfortable. You literally do you get comfortable. You get comfortable. And, and your you know, wife is beautiful. She cooks some good I know, food. dude. I know. Kids fed. I got to stay on my game. Yeah. Mm, I do. Are you single? I am. I have a girlfriend. I'm not married. But you're not married. Yeah. Okay, not so married. technically that's what I would call single. Yeah. Because okay. yeah. he had a girlfriend when I met him, and I was like, you've been with her how long, and you're not living together, and you're not married? That means you're single. <laughs> <laughs> and now look at you guys. And now look that at you. Yeah. You're single. Okay. You're not married. That means you're yep. single. Okay. Yep. Uh, whatever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no, girlfriend. Really. I admit that with <laughs> zero intentions. And I don't know what your name is, and I hope we can be friends after this. But uh, No. Yeah. No pressure. Oh. No, no pressure. None. No pressure. None. None. Let, let, me, let me ask you this, Christy. When was it that you came out to my house and left a bull? And my freezer still. 2017. Mm, yeah. 2017. So I, yeah, I went hunting in Colorado and I was like, Luke, I need a place to stay. And we actually went to the gym and. and yeah, we and, did a little episode yeah, there. That I was fun. Out. That was actually fun. That what gym fun. did y'all go to? Uh, my gym, um, MMA gym. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, mm-hmm. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, we went there and, and, and he put me on the old speed bag and oh, I, I smashed myself in the face a few times. The with double end bag, sure. yep. Yeah. And, and uh, I was like, like, hey, hit me, punch me. And she's all like giggling. Uh, like, <laughs> I'm like, never mind, never mind. He's like, punch me as hard as you can. And oh, I'm I like, can ah, see I can't. 
I he's all giggling him. and Punch everything. You, you should have popped him. No, she should have. I, I couldn't do it. You like couldn't? I, I just, no. And then it got real weird when I'm on like full mount <laughs> and I'm like making eye contact <laughs> with him. And I'm like, this is a So we went to the ground. She went, I teach, I just teach her some jujitsu and stuff. And then, you know, how I make jokes and shit. Oh, you know? yeah, it was yeah, bad. Yeah, it was oh, it's just one thing led to another, and everybody's at the gym looking at it. It's like, yeah, yeah. what is, what is going this going on? on? <laughs> <laughs> when did Lucas? When did Luke start yeah. teaching jujitsu like this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you gotta get on top before you do the arm bar, and I'm like, wait, yeah. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. I'm not joking. I was like, just <laughs> go with it, you know. We but had a good time. It was actually a lot of fun. It and, was. Um, you had um, you had some pretty that uh, the kickboxing guy. Yep. Your Field nurse down yeah. there working with Justin. I mean, we had who's who in the gym there at the time, and I mean Justin literally was getting ready to fight yeah. i think uh when you were there so yeah he was he had like a fight like the yep. next weekend or yep. something it yep. was pretty so awesome it was good it was fun but i had killed an elk in colorado and then i just took over his basement and i invited myself into his house and um stayed with them for a couple of days and then yeah. left all my stuff there like literally it's still there <laughs> the hide and elk everything i was like this is Christy Titus. And I just moved I don't him th- I think I the hide the hide is probably bad. He even moved and kept my stuff and like hey, moved that's a friend. It with that's him. a that's, friend. That's, that's pretty a friend. impressive. No, that's you're gonna get invoice. <laughs> <laughs> Storage fees, <laughs> yeah, man. That's it. Yeah. No, it is. That was a that was a good time, honestly. How did you guys meet? I'll tell the story. I've already told it so many times. It was very cool. Me and Luke live 20 minutes apart, right? So yeah. he's got a truck, and it's wrapped with Cryptek, and he's got the Gladiators Unleashed. And I'll be honest, I didn't know what it was. And I'd see him going up the highway. I'm like, that's a camo truck talking about a podcast. I'm like, maybe this is a hunting podcast. Because I was giving some thought, you know, since I retired from the NFL, how I was going to get in the hunting space. And just I want to make my life about hunting, revolve around hunting, you know, mm-hmm. post-retirement. And so I was like, I'm going to hit this dude up and, you know, see what he's about. I look him up, got a big following. I'm like, all right, this is a hunting podcast. He's right down the road. I'm going to hit him up, pick his mm-hmm. brain. I said, hey, man, told him who I was, told him what I was trying to do. He was cool. We met at a little archery shoot that he was putting on with uh, with Aaron. Mm-hmm. We've been cool ever since. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's been a really good resource for you, me. So you got him, You got to watch him lose. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. I found out everything <laughs> I didn't know about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like to gamble and lose my money. That's just it. <laughs> I'll well, you it's not about, the, you know, you don't judge character on somebody who's winning. You judge the character on someone who's losing. Yep, mm. that's it. That was, that, was a mo- that was a defining moment. It is. Sure. It is. <laughs> I lose a lot. So um, are you guys shooting any tax this year? I think, no, I'm I th- not. I think I'm going to probably do Colorado and maybe South Dakota. Yeah, we're going to go to San Antonio. Are you? Yeah. I thought about that one, but, man, that one might be hot for me, too hot for me. It's hot down there. You're brown. Oh, I know, you but you should I, like the heat. I'm like, no, I'm, <laughs> I am literally the, I'm like, oh. Justin called me and I'm like the whitest Mexican you'll ever meet. Like, <laughs> I really am like the whitest Mexican you ever meet, like literally. <laughs> and I uh, live in Wyoming and I pretty much look like a marshmallow and it's real bad. Yeah. It's not nice. I'm like reflective at this point. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm supposed to be going to Florida for Ooh. Oregon Mills Bachelorette Party. Uh-huh. There's like a pack of us ladies going. It's going to be crazy. Oh, and I'm, I'm a little afraid the girls are all going to need sunglasses. I'm like, mm. Wow. My husband literally is always like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's what I tell my wife, too. She's, <laughs> she's white is- as hell, and I'm like, dude, you are too white. Yeah. I mean, but, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, come on. Too. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I guess that's what I got when I married her, you know. Yeah. But your Look, wife is beautiful. Thank you. She Blonde is, hair, blue eyes. She is a dime. Yep. She is. Uh, she's I don't, in good shape. I don't know how I did it. You know, yeah. I mean, I do know how I did it, but <laughs> yeah, oh, geez. Here I did. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. Uh, I'm good at what I do, you know. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Uh, and you still hang out with him after he talks all this. Unfortunately, yeah. You know what's yeah. crazy is Josh now has really became a really good friend of mine. He can come over to my shop, my studio. He give him the key he knows where everything at. i mean i don't have to be there yeah and he's just i trust him and he's my buddy man like yeah. honestly like when you when you meet somebody and you just hit it off that's me and his guy yep really well, i thought that was us i thought you were <laughs> i thought he was rolling that out and be like crazy that's us we're such and, good friends you know what's I crazy just, like, got led right off a cliff <laughs> no <laughs> like, me and you have I'm always like, got a lot great no. we've always been good <laughs> no it's we've good. always been good like 100%. honestly like i could not have asked like, you know, when I got in the in- outdoor industry, I looked up at all you guys, you know, and you were like the hot white girl that was, just, uh, you know what I mean? I, I was. Oh, you are. <laughs> no, you are. Hey, hey, hey. 
Oh you literally God. are, Chrissy. There wasn't I no was. Yeah, Julia. It, I'm it was just busting you up. It's oh. all good. All, no. all day, but I'm telling you. It was fun. Like, literally, like, every every kid probably had the crush on Christy Titus. You I know what I mean? the first time I met you was in line at some club or some after party thing at the yep. show. Yep. I think it was at ATA. Yeah. So, yeah, it was ATA. Yeah. ATA, mm-hmm. yeah. I think you were with Jana and, of course. and Julie. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, my God. This is like the girls of, you know, the who's who. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it really was. And I Who's don't know. Who's your hunting girl crush? Do you have one? Oh. Uh, he has a girlfriend. Never mind. I'm joking. <laughs> Joe, hey. Totally joking. Hey, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I've met Eva oh. Shockey a couple times here at this deal, but we had her at Nestor's. Uh, we were at hunting camp yeah, yeah, yeah. Went up in Lyman. I kind of had a crush on her. She's a beautiful woman. She is beautiful woman. And you know what? She's actually super funny. Yeah, we had a great time. Yeah, she's I, funny. Every time we would yeah. we would pass on the trucks, I would jump out, give her snacks, and mm-hmm. and uh, kill Cliff and everything. She's like, oh, my God, you want to be my guy? And I was like, yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, we won't kill shit, but we'll have a good time. <laughs> she's got great humor. Uh, I like following her online because she's pretty witty. Yeah. Like, the one that really hit home to me is she's like, how many days in a row – do you guys like wear your gym clo- or your clothes before you wear them to the gym? And I'm like, dude, that's me. Yeah. I, got, I wear my leggings like twice, and then I'm like, oh, these are I can wear these to the gym now because then I have to wash them. Yep, <laughs> have to. <laughs> yep. Fact. yep. I think a lot of ladies do that. Yeah. So are you working out with Luke and his gym, or are you? Uh... So I'm not. So first of all, I'm in late hunting season shape, right? I got my little uh, grizzly bear layer of fat on right now, about 295 pounds. So, so you're when a I, small guy. I got when it. I, <laughs> <laughs> when I when I leave here, uh, I'm about to go back into elk mode, okay? Because it's coming up quick. Uh, I'm trying to get down to about 245 pounds, be mountain efficient. But uh, yeah, it's going to be rough on me for the next couple of weeks because I'm going to hit it hard. Because uh, to be able to hunt as much as I want to, much as I do, you got to be. Right? So what yeah. do you have planned for the fall then? Oh, You're ready man. to like kill yourself in the gym. Oh before? my gosh. So right now I got muzzleloader, Colorado elk. Not sure what I'm doing for mule deer. I got Wisconsin whitetail, Florida whitetail. Hold on, the springs first. Let's start off the spring. So Colorado turkey, turkey Wyoming turkey, Nebraska wait, 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 turkey. Whoa. We live in Wyoming. Oh, so I killed a bird in uh, Torrington last year. Where's Torrington? I don't even know where that's at. Torrington? Uh, Where's Torrington? It's not that. It's not that far from you guys. Yeah, it's probably not. yeah. Torrington. It is uh, just. West of Mitchell, Nebraska. You guys are in Sheridan, We're right? Sheridan, yeah. On the border. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 It's not far from yeah. there. Okay. But then uh, I'm planning some East Coast stuff this year for Turkey. I'd like to get out to uh, Connecticut, Maine, New York. Uh, hit Florida again. You're La- mad at turkeys. Yeah, oh. yes. Yeah. So yeah, I just started hunting three years ago. He's crazy about yeah. turkeys. I used to talk a lot of uh, talk yeah, but a lot once of. Once you hunt elk, you'll be like. Psh, oh no! I ha- yeah. I'm not so and this is what I tell <laughs> this is what I tell all the turkey guys. I'm like, if you think a turkey gobble's cool, you haven't experienced anything until elk bugles yeah. in your face. Like yeah. it's it's incredible. Oh, yeah. It is. yeah. 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 No matter where you pursue the wild, never leave home without Onyx Hunt. Onyx gives hunters the confidence to apply and draw tags in areas they've never set foot in, extending hunting seasons and opportunities. Always know where you stand with public and private land layers, unit boundaries, and more. Onyx can even be downloaded directly to your phone for use when you don't have service. Wherever you pursue the wild, hunt with Onyx. I don't That's know. That's awesome. I like turkeys, but I ain't in love with them. No. You know what I, I mean? I mean, I hunt them every year. Yeah. I bow hunt them. It's fun. It's fun. It's hard. I mean, mm-hmm. it, they're hard to take down with a bow. you got to hit them, like, perfect. Um, and, and I like hunting turkeys, but I'm not. I'm not what about, I didn't hear anything about spring bear in there. Okay, spring bear. I talked to him. I said, listen, I want to go to Wyoming, do a spring bear hunt, yeah. and that's what I want to do. So I've been looking around in uh, southern Wyoming. You know, when we get off air, you know, we'll discuss some some uh, more specific locations, but yeah. I've been looking into it a little bit. I've never killed a bear. Uh, I killed my first cat this year. I killed my first lion the day before Christmas Eve. Yeah, That's super awesome. cool what deal. Were you in that Colorado. Nice. Yeah, shot him with a 10 millimeter pistol. Yeah, yeah. He went with yeah. yeah, shot him in a cave. Lo- crazy story. Long story short, he was in a cave. He was underneath me. I'm laying flat. Stick my had to stick my gun in a hole. Boom, boom, boom. Shoot him. It, crazy deal. Most intense hunt of my life. Yeah. But uh, I'd love to get a bear this year, and I'd love for it to be a spring bear. I had a bear I shot one time. He crawled into a den, and we went in the den after it, thinking he was expired in there. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, that'll make your butt pucker. He was not expired, and it was actually the biggest bear I've ever killed. He had over a 20-inch skull. Oh, wow. He was a massive bear, and um, 
when what he was that, crawled, Idaho? Yeah, when he crawled back out, I was standing there at two feet and shot him point blank when Ooh. he crawled out. We had to wait for him to come out because, I mean, what are you going to do with a 400-pound bear you tell me. in a hole? Yeah, not a whole lot. I'm yeah. not going in there. Yep. I mean, we did. We have video of us like crawling in there looking, and we're like, <gasps> Yeah, Reavers! that would be, that would Reavers! make me, that would really make me shit my pants. I'm not gonna lie. Speaking of big bears, you know North Carolina's got the biggest bears in the country, right? So they they have a really long uh, growing season. You know, it never really gets cold there, right? So those bears constantly have food. They're constantly eating. You can kill a six, seven hundred pound black bear. Over yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Those bears are expensive. They're huge. To hunt. We looked at they we are. looked into doing that, <laughs> and I'm like, that's above my pay grade. Yeah, that's it huge. is a lot. Like I want to kill a big bear. I love, and I feel like as a conservationist, I'm just gonna throw this out there for the people that are sensitive yeah, about know. predator hunting. It's really important to have that balance of predator prey, and mm. those bears are really hard on deer fawns, elk calves, and to protect our ungulates, we really have to manage bears. And mm -hmm. so that's one thing. Like when you hunt with hounds or when you hunt over bait, yep. you have the opportunity to selectively harvest. Exactly. The appropriate, exactly. The appropriate age, age, gender, yep. and all of that stuff. So I'm a huge advocate for bear hunting when done, you know, responsibly, yeah. right? So yeah, yeah, something absolutely. something a lot of people don't know about. Yeah, but, and, and be, but those bears are just. Not to mention delicious, right? So oh, people, yeah. I think people look at predator hunting like a cat or a bear or something. They think you shoot it and you drive around and you throw it in a ditch when you're done with it. You know what I mean? But like all that stuff's getting used, right? Yeah. Uh, bear meat's really good. The cat blew me away how good that meat was. Yeah. Very mild tasting. It's almost like wild pork. Uh, yeah. So I was very pleasantly surprised with the cat meat. But yeah. Were you with him on the lion hunt? No. Oh, I, I, I could no. talk so much noise right now about why he wasn't. <laughs> But no, he was not there. I did. He should have been so there. I was supposed to shoot. You suck. <laughs> I was, you suck, Luke. I was supposed to get there, too. We're going to be best friends. Yes, we going to hunt. We're going to kill some stuff. <laughs> they cut the track early in the morning. They, I, I get the phone call from at 3 in the morning from Nestor, and I look at my phone at 3 in the morning. I mean, I've curled up. It's cold. You got a hot it, blonde. It, I got, it was I got, minus 20. I got, I got me my wife right next to me, <laughs> booty hanging out. I was like, ignore. <laughs> So ignore. <laughs> he's missing a couple details. I so did. We we found the big the big track, which is the one we ended up running for mine. But this is at like two in the morning, so we're like, well, let's keep riding around, and see what else we find. So we come back out a spot that we'd already been up. So our tracks are there, and there's a fresh print right in the middle of our tracks, like it between the tires. So we're like, oh, dude, that's another Tom. We got to get somebody. You know what I mean? And yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't answer the phone. Yeah. I've missed two yeah. big cats now because of that. Two. You didn't miss anything. You just didn't get out of bed. That's true. very true. You missed very nothing. True. It's not like, man, I went and I shot over it. Hey. I don't know what happened. No, I, in fact, you got to be out there to hunt. I miss seen it. his yeah, picture. I it. seen his, and then you seen Derek's cat. Those could have been easily mine. Easily. But, but I slept. We're blaming your wife now. That's I just hey. I heard you blame your wife. Hey. I, I you know what I mean? That's I, just terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Right under the bus. Doo, doo. Mm. Mount Lion. Titties and ass. My life, <laughs> titties and ass. You know where, where I are your priorities? <laughs> where are your priorities lie? Explicit rating on this one. Explicit rating. I'm just being real. I keep I it real. I, I keep it real. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm a looking husband. I understand. You understand, there, Yogi? I, I know. I it, it is. It's facts. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's it. It's hard for me to get out of bed sometimes. I get it. So after that, you're going to roll into elk season, deer season. You got all this stuff planned. What do you got going on? I don't know yet. I'm still kind of putting my my schedule together, but um, I, I'm 0-3 for elk this year, or the last three years. I got to kill one this Dude, year. Dude, I've had a brutal couple elk seasons, too. And like, I just, mm, you know, yeah. I love archery so much with it um, during the rut, you know, and they're bugling. But, man, uh, you know, I may have to bust out the old broomstick this year mm. just to get one. I really do. And I, yeah. I, I like shame both. In that. I like both. Yeah. I really do. I like yeah. rifle hunting. And I like I just like hunting, period. But I like being successful mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. And um, I love elk. Yeah, I, that's why I'm not really like a good trophy hunter, or yeah. selective hunter. Yeah. I'm like, ooh. If it fires that you up. There, yeah. 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 Here, Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. That moment. Yeah. Yes. Sucks. That's, yes. I mean, not to yeah. me, but you know, I I really want to kill an elk yeah. this year, and that's my goal. And I don't know. Are you gonna what, stay in Colorado? Yeah. Yeah, and do I don't you have know. Points for Wyoming. I do. How many? I don't know. I think like maybe five. Then you oh, you got enough general. for the general. I you think, yeah. Draw general. So, um, you know, it, I don't, I, you know, I just want to kill an elk, and it doesn't need to be a, you know, 350, 360. No, I don't care. As long but as you it's wouldn't a, walk away from that opportunity. I mean, come on. I had, I had an opportunity to shoot a really big bull this year. He stayed in bed. And <laughs> Listen to this. No, I really did. So I, I have a place where I lease right down the road from me. 
And when they're there, they're there. And when they're not, they're not. I call, I call Nestor. I said, they're here. I need your help. I'm there. He hauled ass, came down. I seen the satellite bowl, and the satellite bowl was probably like 3.30. Mm -hmm. I should have just shot it, you know, 50 yards from me. And you know, good you know how Nestor is? You're not fucking shooting that bowl. <laughs> and I'm like, why? He goes, we're going after that one. And I was like, oh. and then right then he just let a big old bugle, and I was like, oh, my God. We went up there and did it, and I got about 40 yards from the cows everywhere, and I drew back, and I couldn't shoot. My, I was shaking so bad mm. when I seen that bull, and I got the old buck fever, whatever you call it, but I, he, I had to let it down. He goes, what are you doing? I said, dude, I cannot, I can't even control my pins. My pins were going everywhere. Mm -hmm. I was shaking so bad. That's why you do we, what you do. Yeah, yeah, we literally, he says it was probably about a 350, 360 bull. I don't know. I don't score shit that well, but I knew it was big enough for me, and I got my, my yeah, I've never had that like that ever, ever. But that's why I love it. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. I get like that bad. Like Yogi last year was making fun of me because there was like one day where the where the white tail bucks were really chasing, mm -hmm. and they're running out from everywhere, and I'm shaking in the stand. Yeah. And he's got cameras on the stand, and he's like, Christy, you have to stop shaking. <laughs> like I'm trying to video, and I'm like, Ugh. and I'm not even trying to shoot one. I'm just excited that yeah, I could right? shoot. Yeah, right. Awesome. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. I don't well, know. I, but really that's why we, so oh, that's why we yeah. hunt, You're though. You're not yeah. paying attention. That's yep. why we hunt, though. We like that yeah. opportunity. And, and back to your story, man, a lot of respect for you letting down on that bull yeah. because it's like you could have sent one and forced oh, it, shot oh, him, yeah. in the, you know what I mean? Yeah. But to let down, that, yeah. that was a cool decision. Yeah. yeah. It was uh, September 8th, so it was early in September, and I was like, I ain't going to blow this. I'm yeah. not going to blow him out. Yep. Let's come back. Or shoot him in that hip or something. But, I don't think you should ever regret a shot you didn't take. Yep. Mm. It's the ones that you make that go bad that you're Facts. like, Facts. Yes. That's yeah. hard. That's yes. hard to live yeah. with. But that's also why you train so much with a bow. That's yeah. why I train with a bow and with my firearms yep. because mm. I want to know when I make the shot, I'm as prepared as I can. And if Facts. things don't go right, yep. it's easier to live with yourself. Oh, sure. Yeah. I agree. Because you know, like, you're always trying to do what's best for the animal. Give him yeah. a very ethical. Yeah, you want to recover that yeah. animal. I want to shoot that animal and recover it. Like, yeah. So I knew I couldn't do it, man. I was I was yeah. shaking like a queer at a hot dog factory. <laughs> Pause right there with that one. We're going to let this one roll. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, rolling, I know. I'm bad. I told you, Christy. I'm sorry. I, I just can't well, control it. And he's sober, okay? So. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I really am sober. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. Oh man, I tell you what, I'm, I'm one thing I will say about you, Chrissy. I am so impressed with what you've done with your your shooting with Ruger, everything your long distance stuff, man. You are a G. I'm trying. You, I try. You are a G. I mean, I'm impressed. Like you are, to me, I think you are the most educated woman spokesman in the outdoor for women mm. out nice. there. Nice I really do. Me up. I, appreciate mm. that. I really do, man. And that's saying a lot because I like Jana. Yeah. There's tons of incredible ladies out there. There's tons of them yeah, out there. There's some really good people out there, but you are literally I try. one of them that is, a, you know, you got it going on, and you are you practice what you do, and I'm telling you, you know more about guns than I do. Well, I don't know about that, but I you do. I definitely consider myself a student of the gun. And mm. I had a friend tell me a few years ago. Well, it's been more than a few years ago. Let's say like over a decade ago. <laughs> He's like, you know, Christy, there's a couple things you really suck at, and and I told this story yesterday. He's like, the first thing is backpack hunting because I had always hunted with horses and mules. I had no idea I had a backpack hunt. And he's like, the second thing you suck at is is shooting. And he was right on both things. So I started mentoring, and actually, that's how I met Aaron. Really? It was in 2011. I met Aaron in 2012. He set me up with my first pack, and I've been running Kafaro since 2012. Yep. And you know, that's going on 11 years. Yeah, great pack. Think about it. Yeah. And I'm still running their gear, still using their packs. I still, yep. you know, love the company, love Aaron, love everything that they're doing, and. He, you know, being a part of that community taught me so much. But then I also went out and got trained with firearms because, I mean, I, I, I remember I was on an elk hunt and I hunted 10 days and couldn't take a 400-yard shot. And, like, that's just a shame to spend that much yeah. time, sure. you know, and not be able to make a shot. And, and this year, all of my shots that we took hunting this year, if I didn't have the training that I had or that I have, I wouldn't have harvested any of the animals yeah. that we got. 
Well, that's like I said, man. You are literally a G when it comes to that. You have put your time in it. You've learned it. You went to school. And it shows because, like, when I click on your stuff and I know you're talking, I listen. Yep. Because you know what the fuck you're talking well, about. Well, and I'm hoping, yep. you know, we just put we just put um, an offer on a bunch of acreage, and we're going to have a 14, 12 to 1,400-yard gun range. I want I want to be able to bring, like, you guys out. Yeah, I would love that. And we get on some guns, and we do some shooting. I know, right? Yeah, I know, That's huh? exactly right, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, that's kind of the goal. Like, in Oregon, I had a really cool spot where I could bring out my yes. corporate partners and people. And we could shoot and learn and grow together and create content, and it was super fun. Yeah. And when I sold that, it was like, it, I haven't had it for a year. It's been a kick. Yeah, you know? no, that's what I was talking to him last night. I was like, that place was just beautiful. Awesome. awesome. Beautiful. But this place we have in Wyoming now is 176 acres, and and it's 255 total that we're, oh, we'll that's end a up lot. with eventually. Yeah. It's a beautiful spot. Mm-hmm. and But the gun range is so much longer than what we have in Oregon. I mean, I'd love to have you guys come out. We do some shooting. Yep. And yep. you know, I could definitely yeah, do well, it. Yeah, oh, we'll awesome. or come out and go bear hunting with let's, us this spring. I'm May. serious. Let's go. Like, cause we can run baits and and we. Can and why don't you can do that? Oh yeah. Oh cool. Yeah. Even as a non-resident, yeah. I think you can bait. Yeah, you can. yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That is. I think so. I think you can. Yeah, uh, I think on you national can. forest, you can't go in wilderness. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause we could claim sites last year as non-residents. Yeah. 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 Oh, that'd be sick. So let us know if you guys want to maybe come out and do that. We we kind of have the month of May open for bear hunting, yeah. and we're trying not to like plan a bunch because we'd like to be able to be in the mountains. Yeah. And, sure. And do that. So um, yeah, it would be. We'd yeah. Love to have are you, you, are you liking Wyoming? We love it. We're never there. Yeah, that's what I was gonna but say. But what we like is that every year, as a married couple, we get spring turkey, spring black bear, mountain lion, antelope. One elk, one mule deer, one white tail tag a, every year. Yeah. And whoa, no whoa, matter what. Mule deer and white tail? Yeah. Wow. We yeah. shot, both shot mule deer and white tail last year. And That's my awesome. poor husband, I was so burnt out on hunting because we had spent the entire month of October in a tent. And I was like, dude, I just need two days to sleep in my bed in and not bed, yeah, sure. I just yeah. wanted, like, give me a reset. And he's like, no, I have a tag. I've been hunting for you all fall. I'm going hunting. And I was like, okay. I, I took two days off. I went and bought baby mules, did a bunch of stuff. And he goes and shoots this eight-pointer whitetail. And the next, and he's like, the next day, he's like, you got to go out with me. Come on. And I was like, all right, I'll go. And within five minutes, I shoot a bigger deer than him. No way. I'm like, so sorry. I shot oh, like a beautiful man. 10. I'm like a horrible <laughs> wife. I'm like, That's we how rattled cookie in. Roll. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, husband. And it was like literally died 50 yards from where he would shot his the day before. No kidding. Wow. Yeah. Well, because for whitetail in Wyoming, it's hard to find public ground. Mm. Mm. Are they are they more concentrated like around the river bottom stuff, cottonwood draws and stuff like that? And all of that's private, right? Sure. There's very few sections of public. Colorado's that the have same way. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And he, there must have been like a hot doe in there. Yeah. And these bucks were just, you know, and Coming my deer in. just had his eye poked out, so I think his buck had actually poked oh, really? the eye of my deer out. And, but I, I was like a horrible wife because here he's busted his butt all fall for me. For and you. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna take time out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. Horrible wife. Yeah. And then I go kill a bigger deer. <laughs> it happens. It happens. But, but it's, it's a great state for that, you know. And, and, like, in Oregon where we were living, it would be years before he could hunt elk or deer or and even me. Sure. I mean, like, 16-year waited. I waited Oof. for antelope, you know. Good. Nice. Really? That was awful. So we like we're, We want to live in a place that embraces the Second Amendment, mm. has constitutional carry, and then supports residents hunting. Yeah. And there's not a lot Wyoming. of residents, so that means... Yeah, I mean, and it, it's taxes mm-hmm. are better. Oh. I mean, that's Ooh, why we go with there. We've got $1,000 a month raised just yeah. in taxes. Oh, see, yeah. The money we get to keep yep. by yeah. living there, you know? Yeah, right. in fact, like, honestly, I, like, everybody was like, man, why did Kafaro move to Wyoming? And I was like, well, they have their reasons, it's and it's, good, it's good, good. Why don't yeah. you move? Uh, you I'll drive. I'm liking where I'm at right now. Yeah. Be honest with you. I don't know about you. you I like, love. I yeah, love where I live. Where My, minus the whole, you know, the state um, and a government or a governor is a, you know. Yeah. But it, it is what it is. Like I, I enjoy my mountain life. Yep. Well, you uh, have a great place. And yeah. The trees. Yeah. And well, he lives 20 minutes yeah. from me. I'm, I'm down in the stick sticks. It's mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's down there, <laughs> and I don't like. You know, I get to shoot my bow, have my range out there, have boys come over. Mm-hmm. Nobody can tell me what to do. I, yep. I, 
I, well, I, your I love that. Well, your with your gym and your setup. Yeah. And yep. I want to do like a family reunion in Kafaru because I, I haven't been to the new factory. Have you been oh, there? Oh, you haven't? No. It's nice. I haven't been there. It's I really nice. I the grand opening. We were doing. We yeah. Were I went down there and I was impressed. I honestly was. I was really impressed. And, um, you know, those, those guys are just good people. They're all good people down there. And I, that's a company that you generally, like, love to work for. And 100% mm. and USA made everything. Yeah, yeah I mean. Cut and sew. The yeah, whole deal. it's just, I mean, you know. You know how it is. Like, yeah. when you like somebody and like the product, it's easy for us mm-hmm. to rep it and talk about it, you know. So, I don't know. I just owe Aaron a lot because he's the one that helped me out. Yeah. Get my foot in this whole thing. And, like I said, I, I would not be the person I am now if it wasn't for Aaron. Mm-hmm. Really, what it's true. Mm-hmm. You know, I, he's done a lot for me. He's helped my following got me into podcasting, everything, you know? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he's still a booger, but I do like him. We don't want to I do talk like him, about him because he's actually might hear this. Yeah. So. Probably not. Aaron won't listen to it. We're safe from that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, 100% Aaron will not ever hear this podcast. But. Yeah, but no, with that. And then you're kind of in the same journey right now because you're building up. and. Ma- I just got my pinky toe in the door. Yeah. Not it, toenail in the door, right? So, <laughs> yeah. I'm just, again, this guy's been a hell of a resource for me. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but uh, – you know, I think the trajectory I'm on is pretty cool and met, meet a lot of cool people like Aaron. You know, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm in with the Kafaru uh, team as well. And it's like, like y'all were talking about, it's, it's very easy when the product is so good and the people mm-hmm. are so cool behind it, right? Uh, so, yeah, I'm just grinding, trying to, uh, trying to get better. Yeah. So you're doing the podcast right now. Do you have goals to, like, do video or what are you, anything so on track? I'll be with honest that? with you. I'd like to just stick with the podcast because, you know, I just can't ever imagine being in the woods on day 12 of a hunt Draw back on a 340 bull about to touch off, and my cameraman guy goes, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't have him. I don't have him. Like, I just can't imagine. You shoot the, anyway. I, you know, like you I can't imagine anyway. doing stuff like that. So to answer your question, I mean, right now, the only thing uh, uh, that I have in store is, is a podcast. It's been yeah. super fun so far. And, yeah, right now just a podcast. Yeah. I just launched my podcast like a year and a half ago. Yeah. And – I mean, not no offense to my show, but it's like super edited, very cinematic. Everything's scripted and storylined, and the podcast has been just like a really fun opportunity for me to be more real. Be you, mm. and instead of you know TV Christie, and and I, you know, it's good that the storytelling we do on our show is beautiful, but we're also launching a video blog or vi- vlog. Yep, whatever video you call blog. It. So once a week, roughly. We're going to be, like, um, doing, like, at-home videos. We self-film, and I'm having them edited and just, like, lifestyle stuff. Like, oh, what that's we're cool. doing yeah. day in and day out and nothing fancy. Good content. More yeah. content now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, more, that's just it. Like, especially with us building the new range. Yeah. Like, I have oh, a decked out be... shipping container with, like, roll-up doors. And, like, it's, it's, I mean, like, I've had this thing for a few years. I've been moving it state to state. And yeah. And it's pretty, it's pretty lit. Like, I mean, I got a pretty cool place that we're going to be rebuilding that in Wyoming now. Okay. And so I want to kind of share that journey and, you know, setting steel out and talking about just the whole thing. I've got baby mules I'm training. And really? Yeah. I bought, well, I have six. Well, no, I have four already, but I just bought two more um, so that Yogi can actually ride. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice. Because, like, we packed in and my cameraman rode and I rode and, and we had the pack mules. And, and he had a walk. Oh, Christy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that, that wife. Man, that man's a saint, dude. <laughs> that wife. Shouldn't his bigger dinner and everything you make him do yeah. it. But. Well, no, he he did kind of rotate with my cameraman a little. But, um, did he? You know, it's just I didn't have enough for everybody to ride it and pack three peoples with right, gear in. Right, and, you know, right, all that stuff. right. It's a lot of gear. It is. Plus, one of mine's so flipping old, he has to pack his own food in. and uh, yeah. yeah. But so we're... Yeah, it's fun. We're, yeah. And, and, and and we're hoping by living in Wyoming, we can do more hunting with our friends. Sure. Yeah. Because where we were before, we yeah. couldn't you know, do any of that stuff. Yeah, way west, huh? Yeah, and more lifestyle, more more vlogging, more lifestyle, more more of this. Yeah. And, and less of the fully produced it, well, stuff. Yep. You know? I think that's why I enjoy podcasting, because yeah. I get to do me. More of this. More of this, and I really do, I don't do, know if man. anybody can handle any more of you, actually. I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. Sometimes. Probably right. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably say the same thing for him, man. How much he can handle you, you know? Well, so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's what he said, yeah. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, so I don't know. I, I like I said, man, Christy. I must say, it's been a pleasure knowing you over the years, and you have just you're one of the real ones, and I really enjoy having your friendship. And when I met him, I was like, 
He's a cool he's one. He's a good fit. He's like, cool, I man. I can't say enough. Like, he's the most, like, not jealous person. Yeah, he's cool. And he's just period. Yeah, he just deals with whatever comes out of my mouth that is... Yeah. You never know what that's Sometimes be. you never know. Yeah. yeah. And so he just, it just rolls off his back and, and he, it's, it's been good. Yeah. You know, he's, he, and he's so supportive of what I'm doing, but yeah. you know, we're hoping you guys can come out. I would love Maybe that. Maybe we can bear hunt, do some shooting, go to Kafaru. Yeah. Man, yes. I'm, and I'm, we're pretty serious about it. Like it yeah. would be super fun to host you guys. Yeah. Um, you can't stay at our house because it's too small. I'll bring my, I'll bring my, I'll bring my, I'll bring my. <laughs> I know, right? I'll bring the mobile unit. Yeah. We'll oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But it would be fun. We, we do. We bought the oldest, cheapest house we could find in Wyoming so we could buy land. Yeah. And it's go. remodeled. Yeah, we'll have like a full 3D archery course. Oh, that'd be sick. And like the whole deal. But, um, you know, if you guys want to come out and do some long range shooting or any of that, yeah. I would love to. Uh, Teach me. Yeah. I'm Teach serious me. about the bear, too. Yeah, like well, I, for sure. I would yeah. love to go on a bear. We're planning on spending the whole month of May. With the mules pack and bait and do what we need to do. That's cool. Um, and that's what we have them for. And like in Oregon, they just sat in a field, and so now we're hoping to, you know, stretch their legs and put them to work and yeah. make them earn, earn their keep. So. Yeah. But we're I I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everything you're doing to bring new people into hunting, and mm. everything you're doing to bring new people into hunting. What do your friends say? Like yeah. your NFL friends, are they like, oh, you're going to okay. do what? They think you're crazy? So, you know, that's a great question. I don't think people realize, and it's not a super, super, okay, so you look at an NFL team, you got 53 guys on the active roster, 10 guys on the practice squad, 63 guys. More of those guys than you think hunt, and the biggest thing is when I would come in on, for instance, Tuesdays was our off day, so I would come in and work out at about noon after a hunt, full camo, everybody's yeah. like, where the hell are you coming from? I'm like, I've been in a tree for the last six hours, you know? And they're like, oh, really? Like, doing what? I'm like, hunting. They're like, oh, well, what, what's up with the tree? You know, just asking these basic mm -hmm. questions because they know nothing about it. My point is, is a lot of people are very curious about it. You know what I mean? So to have somebody uh, be able to kind of explain it to them uh, and kind of tell them the ongoings of how it works, you know, I feel like that's, that's something I've been able to do. Some guys that are, you know, on the fence, do I do, I do it? What's it like? This and that. It's like, well, I can tell you my experiences with it. Whether you like it or not, you're welcome to come try it with me, yeah. right? But uh, more guys hunt than you think yeah. Yeah. in the NFL. Yeah. That's good. Yep. Uh, well, and just the, the quality of meat that you get to consume. Oh, that's a great point, too. So when you give them some deer, you give them some milk, and all of a sudden they want to hunt, right? Yeah. 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 Well, you take all those hormones out of the meat. I mean, I, I'm not an athlete. I mean, I know it's surprising, <laughs> shocking, but I mean, does it, is it have, did you know, do you feel like a performance difference in consuming like beef and farm raised chicken and you know, whatever versus wild game? To be honest with you, I don't, I do not. But uh, one thing I do feel better about is eating stuff that I know where it's been living. Yeah. You know, I know what it's been eating because, and again, I'm not a conspiracy theorist or anything like that, but there's stuff in our meat that we don't know about. Right. And it's just like, it's cool to, to, to take, Harvest, whatever, kill, harvest, however you want to say it. An animal that's been living on the side of a mountain his whole life, running yeah. around, and doing you give what it animals do. a beautiful do. death, doing what it's, come what it's doing. Come on, yeah. yeah. If you're new to archery, there are many components to familiarize yourself with. One of the most important components is your arrow rest. An arrow rest can have many features but its basic function is to connect and hold or contain your arrow to your bow until you're ready to shoot. There are a lot of arrow rest styles to choose from and what rest that you choose may vary depending on the type of bow that you're shooting. When shooting a compound bow, I personally prefer an arrow rest with two main features. The first is arrow containment and the second is drop away capabilities. A containment rest is going to fully support and surround the arrow to prevent it from falling off of the rest. This feature is really important when you're spot and stock hunting with an arrow knock. Many trophy taker arrow rests feature full containment and drop away capabilities. The name drop away rest really says it all. The rest drops down during the release process and is timed to be out of the way of the arrow's fletchings meaning that nothing is interfering with the arrow as it clears the riser in flight. Because of this, drop-away arrow rests are known to be extremely accurate and reliable. Learn more by researching online or visiting your favorite archery retailer. Yeah. And 
I don't know. I still love a ribeye. I'm not gonna that, lie. That I was about to say, I, I love like a ribeye. I can't. Yep. Like if you put a ribeye in front of me, I'm gonna eat it. Yep. I yeah. might share it with my husband 50-50. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. I mean, there's, there's facts. That it does taste good, but an elk steak is just as good too. You know what yeah. I mean? And but a ribeye is special. Oh, yeah. it is special. You yeah. do you do the cooking at home or your wife? Uh, mostly my uh, I'm the griller, so I I, I like to smoke, yeah. and uh, I do that kind of cooking. But she does most of it, all of it, you know. But what about you? It's the exact same. Yeah. Zach, huh? Yeah. yeah same, uh, same I like to cook, man. I like to, I like to grill. I, I really do. Um, as I got older, I think I found love cooking on the grill. Um, but yeah. My husband's a great cook. Yeah. I got really lucky. Like him and his mom are so cute in the kitchen doing their thing, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, and he's a great cook. And you know, sometimes I cook, sometimes he cooks. A lot of times I cook, but he always does the dishes. Yep. Yeah. I don't think I've no, done dishes hey, since we got married. That's I don't, I don't mind doing dishes dating. if I'm getting yeah. cooked for. Yeah. L- I don't literally, mind. that is one thing that I will say that made my marriage better is I helped out a lot more. I quit being a you know lazy turd ball. She cooked. I, I mean, I do the dishes. I have yeah. no problem doing the dishes. I got the softest hands down because I'm doing so many dishes. <laughs> <laughs> but. You know, before I didn't ever did them. I just took advantage, you know, of her just doing the kitchen yeah. stuff. And now I help out and shit. Yeah. I get some nookie now. So I'm gonna do it. <laughs> a little wife yeah. Yeah. Long way. yeah. You know so. why uh, Luke does the dishes? I have not made coffee <laughs> since I got married. My husband brings me coffee in bed every morning Ooh. before I crack an eyelid. That's good. I mean, it's pretty. Okay. Like, when he leaves. He's on his stuff. Oh, I'm telling you, when he leaves, I'm like, what the frick is this? I got to, like, <laughs> dust off my eyes and, like, find the coffee. I don't know what I'm doing. You are good. You got to You got to keep her. I know. Mm-hmm. I know. You got to keep her. Right. And, you know, he'll, like, this, this, this last fall, we have deer hanging in our, but we live in downtown. Yeah. We have a tractor, a snowmobile, a side-by-side, a shipping container, and quarters hanging in our yard and the neighbors i guarantee you they just absolutely <laughs> love us but he's out there at this table Doing and he's cutting and you know processing awesome. is awesome you know? that is crazy well wyoming is a good place for that oh. yeah yeah we're probably too redneck to live in town yep um but we're working on it we'll make the transition eventually back out in the country but i don't it's kind of nice to live in town you wake up and your your road's plowed yeah i mean I'm not yeah. complaining about that. Yeah. Not yeah. to mention you can call up and get some food delivered or something, right? Yeah. Like where I live, there is not, there's nothing. nothing. Like there, you can't, yeah. So when you get snow, you got a tractor? I got a four-wheeler with a plow. Yeah. 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 So yeah. you haven't been hit hard enough to be like, oh, damn, I'm in trouble. Not yet. Yeah. Not yeah. yet. It'll happen. I know, I know. It'll happen. Know, and then you're going to be calling Luke. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to be still in bed. Yeah, he goes, he ain't going to answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> and we know why. <laughs> yeah, we know why. But as I said, like when Aaron used to live by me, he would call me. He'd be down on the dish. He goes, and this is like 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. He'll call me and he'll be like, bro, you got to come get get me out, pull me out. Like, what are you doing up at 4.30 and where are you Working going? Out. Yeah, he's going to the convenience store to get chew, he said. Yeah. I'm like, come on, dude. <laughs> Stop. You know, but I would go get him out and. Yeah, well, you guys are good friends. I don't have anybody like that. Well, yeah. before I got married, I yeah. was like super loner. I, we, it was really kind of the mind blowing for Yogi because he comes to Oregon and I have this big ranch and he's like, it's New Year's Eve. He's like, what do you do on New Year's? And I'm like, I mean, my friends are here. When I go home, I don't go to the grocery store. He does the grocery shopping. I shut the door and I'm out. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm all like, I don't do anything. Yeah. You know, and I'm super outgoing. Don't get me wrong, but I'm also I need a real big reset on yeah. that. Oh you know? man! Oh, I mean, yeah. you're on your feet the whole time and yeah. doing everything, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it, this these shows are tiring. Period. They're tiring. But they're so much fun. Oh, they're like, a blast. If you weren't here, now that you've been, if you weren't here, you'd have full FOMO. No, like, for sure. Man, for I sure. Be there. Yeah, for Everybody's sure. Everybody's hanging out. It's a yeah. good time. Yep. And especially as like you know, you start hunting with people and um, you know doing that whole deal. And you get these memories with folks, like it. You can't wait to see them and talk about it. Sure, yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's really cool. And I'm looking forward to us going bear hunting. Like we seriously got to line Let's this go. out. Let's go. You're right up the road. Let's go. You're right up the road now. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I'm excited. I'm just excited for this year, honestly. Absolutely. I really am. I'm excited. What bow are you shooting? Uh, so right now I'm shooting a Darton Tempest 3D long draw. So 
Uh, what is your draw late? 32 and a half. Yeah, I was going to say, you're – you got an ape in there. I, <laughs> I, yeah. just, I was shooting the Halon 7 for the longest time because I'm not a guy – I don't need the new bow every year. I don't. Yeah. I'm, I'm a guy that if I'm comfortable with it and I can shoot a certain amount of yardage, 70, 80, 90 yards, I don't understand why I need the, the next Have thing. Have you tried any of the new digital sites yet? No, I haven't. Like so the Garmin guys, and all that no, stuff? No, 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 no. Trophy Ridge has the digital sites, like the React 1. Yeah. You, you sight in it at 20 yards, and then you chronograph it. You enter in your chrono speed, just like you would with, yeah. with your long-range rifles, and it will give you your drops at distance. So then you take it out and true it. So, like, if you shoot 70 yards and it takes you maybe 74 to hit, you just recalibrate it, and it sets all your pin just spacing instantly. Really? Like, I took my uh, React 1 to tack last year, and in 15 minutes I went from 20 yards to hit 90-yard targets. In really? In 15 minutes life-changing that sounds something like you need walker Trophy ridge life-changing yeah, stop yeah walker. i need to get you guys hooked up with that yeah. because walker, those sites walker, they have the walker, single walker definitely pin. needs that they have a trio so you can set your 20 30 and then have a 40 yard slider which is what i do for elk but i like that single pin Trophy for white tail man yeah. i'm telling you life-changing like to be like normally for me to sight <clears> in my bow 80 yards yeah man i'm spending a week oh for sure yeah and i'm like oh man my arm's tired i'll sure. come back tomorrow yep. you know but yep. now you set that 20, you chronograph it, enter that data, and the next target you're hitting 70, 80. And if you're really? hitting a little low, you just dial down. Okay, if it, if, you, if it says it's 70 and you're hitting low, you just give it to like 74. You're kind of guessing. Once you bring your arrow where you need, then you just tell it in the system, like, hey, this is 70, and it overwrites it, and it does all your drops for you. Yeah. So you don't have to mess with it anymore. It's like That's the some technology. coolest thing in the world. Like I heard about them. I just haven't fucked. Well, I haven't even messed like with those them fifteen yet. yard shots, you know, they try to yeah. bar you with attack. Yep. Like fit roll it up, have a fifteen. And that's it, know? huh? Really? It's pretty it's pretty and then you're 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 not gapping pins anymore. So you're like, all right, well this is a fifty four yard elk. You dial fifty four. Boom. Yeah. yeah, I mean, how much more accurate you think you'd be uh, if you're not gapping pins? Sure. I don't know sure. if I can get I mean, any you better. Need all the help you get. I don't think I can get any better, honestly, Christy. <laughs> now him, he <laughs> may, hey, may need the help, but you know what I mean. But I'm just gonna act like life. I didn't listen. Hear that. It, it doesn't matter. You gotta. It's the Indian that's working the bow, bud. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me ask y'all this. So I know Aaron works with them. Option. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, I was thinking about. Six. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was thinking about looking into those this year because I love single pins, but. You know, now that I've got a little bit of experience under my belt hunting elk, I see the merit in it, and I also see where you can get screwed with a single pin, right? Uh, I get it. I get it. So you, you figure out what's called your max point blank, mm -hmm. and that, you know what that is, right? Yeah. Okay. So set your max point blank, and when you go elk hunting, you roll it 40 yards, and if it's 20, you just, you know, you just hold low, you know? And, yep. And, you know, and if it's at 40 yards, you hold right on, and, and you're going to kill them. Yeah. Like whitetail? I range. I don't. Five yards for me makes a big difference because I'm so slow. My yeah. my arrow speed so slow. So I don't know. Yeah. I like that point of aim, point of impact, and I get what you're saying. But I'll tell you, I've missed more deer and used the wrong pin on more mm. animals because I get that. drawn on a white tail and I've got four pins on them. Sure. And you just shoot. And how many times have I done that and not picked a pin mm. and not picked a spot? Yep. And I got all the pins yep. there, and I'm like, crap. I, I just shot over them. And it's like, well, what pin did you use? And I'm like, well, they were all on them. Yeah. They were exactly. all there. They were all I saw on them all. I, yeah. I saw all the pins. Oh sure. So mentally, I think it removes a lot of um, error if you can focus on one spot, one pin. I agree 100%. And just shoot. But I also get your point of that single pin you gotta keep ranging and moving it's a little exactly yeah. so for me that kind of the situation but they have a trio so it's fixed 20 30 and then right. 40 slides right right. Yeah. right for me it's just like what if you're standing there and this is exactly to your point like you're standing in front of a tree you're setting up the elk's at 30 dial in boom all of a sudden something happens he bumps out to 85 right you can't move he's staring right at you can't reach down and move like what do you do like just put it on his back like you know what i mean yeah, well, you don't shoot unless you... I mean, right, you know, and that's what I mean yeah, about the... Yeah. I, <laughs> you know? and, I, and I get what you're saying, yeah. but also, I think I'm, I have had more experiences where I didn't focus on the correct pin than I've had opportunities where I couldn't move mm, to just a second. Sure. Right? Yeah. Like, if I got my bow here and I'm not drawn, it's not that hard to reach around, especially on an elk. You can get away with right. that with it. And just spin that wheel. You're going to draw anyway. Right. Yep. You know? Good point. I mean... 
That's a good point. It's not that much more movement, especially if you just go slow. Right. And you get it right, then I, I don't know. I mean, I think there's a lot of ways to look at it. That's a good That's point, why they make, they make they make them. Um, um, those the react technology also that's not digital and it will self space so you set your 20 and you set your 40 and then the other pins self spread in space and they site themselves in also oh, wow. with the same technology it's not just not digital so let me ask you this are they, is it battery operated the digital technology is the the original react technology is not so like colorado digital is not legal okay but the react technology is legal so okay. you can use their self spacing just the same ballistics, basically, yeah. if you will, that they're using on the digital, but without that computerized component. Because where you're at, you can't use the... Any electronic you know, you technology, yeah. We can I mean, use it in Wyoming. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we just got lighted docks legalized a couple yeah. years ago, so, I mean, we're... And every state's so different. Like, I, I really, still. you got to try to pay attention. Yep. So you don't get in trouble. Yeah, you can, yep. You're not even supposed to use a lighted reticle on your scope. No. no. Nothing, yeah. yeah. Oh, in Colorado? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it just, it gets... It gets to where you really have to pay attention, especially with what we do. Yeah. Yep. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> everybody would love to run you over with the school bus. Oh, yeah, no dude. Yeah. And I don't, I don't understand that, man. But, like, you know, I always want to see people do successful things, you know. And, and people are always the first people to knock people down when they mm. get caught up. And I'm like, man, how do you... They're jealous. Yeah, I mean, and I just don't get it. And they let ego and jealousy yeah. drive them instead um, of I just instead don't of get instead that. of being proud of who they are and what they're good at. Yeah, they they just hate everybody. And else I'm just home. like, man, make sure all of your skeletons yeah. are right. clean in you your have closet. Any skeletons you know what in your I mean? Closet? Yep. I just like I just don't get <coughs> that, but I don't I guess, have any in mine. Yeah, I mean, either. <laughs> <laughs> clean closet. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, I, love you. I know. Huh? <laughs> I do. I got a yeah. few. And I, and I I just I don't know man I just it just it's just uh, so much time and energy to to talk yeah. and hate on the internet mm -hmm. you know what I mean and I just don't get that part but no I'm know. not I'm out on that yeah and that's one of the, like I don't have a lot of good friends but the ones I have I don't have to worry about no. it right like it's there's none of that like if one of my friends is like hey I'm gonna make a decision to go do something with another company that I'm not working with. I'm 100% all in supporting Supporter, them yeah. because I want my friends to be successful. Mm -hmm. I want my friends to be successful on their hunts. I celebrate their their mm -hmm. harvest. I mean, it's it's so important to be not hateful. And if you if you're jealous of something that somebody's doing well, maybe you need to take a look in the mirror and <laughs> self reflection. Because, exactly, because self -reflection. it's often something that you're you know deep down that you kind of suck at. Yep. And maybe you should invest some time on yourself yep. and getting better. Yep. 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 I agree. Yeah. Well, that's just it. Like, people would, I mean, that's why the Internet's the Internet, man. Yeah. Nobody would ever say this stuff to you or him, you know, talk bad if it was in your face. Right. You know? mm -hmm. They right. would do that. They could right. do it on the Internet. That's, yep. But that's what the Internet's for, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't enjoy that part. And that's the part I don't like about the industry right now. And, uh, um, you know, uh we have a lot of <laughs> observant people here. Real I'm shocked that was people. the first one, though. I, I know. And you know what? He didn't fall, so I give him that. He didn't fall. Just, for those of you listening, we just had a guy like walk right through, like, totally out of it. It's, it's okay. It happens. Oh, I was like, it. okay, he really yeah, coming. He's he sure get enough did. But either way. But yeah. I think that he was had so much momentum due to his body mass <laughs> yeah. that he couldn't stop. And that was the, the law of inertia. Yeah, he was gone. He was going. He might have tipped over. I'm pretty sure that would have happened. He was coming. He was like coming. 100% that would have happened. Yep. So. Yep. <laughs> so. He was coming. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good spot to stop, I guess. <laughs> yeah. If we're about right to there. knock people over here at Hunt Expo. Or, yep. Yep. Uh, so where can people follow you, Luke? How do people find you? Uh, Gladiators Unleashed. Um, pretty much me. Uh, and then they can find your podcast anywhere you download yep. podcasts, right? All the major platforms, and it's GU Unfiltered. And when I say it's unfiltered, it is unfiltered. A yeah. Um, it is not. Do not all listen audiences. to my podcast if you have kids in your car. <laughs> Just you a go. warning. Just a warning. Mine's 50 50 at this point. <laughs> I'm not really sure where this is going. <laughs> and where can everybody find you? Uh, at High Country underscore Jaywalk on Instagram. And just like Luke said, uh, as far as downloading, it's everywhere that, uh, that you can download it. And it's called Retired to Hunt. So, yeah. yeah. Nice. How many episodes have you recorded? So uh, I'm like 10 episodes in. So I just you're did it. Oh, I, I, like I said, Pinky Toe, you know, I 
just did a cool episode with Derek Wolf. You know, you saw he killed that big old yeah. Boone Crockett cat, right? Just yeah. had him on. Hit the news. Had, oh, the news. yeah. All the yeah. antis are going yeah. nuts, right? Yeah. So just had him on. We talked a little bit. and uh, So, yeah, it's going well, though. Good. Awesome. Well, I'll be tuning in. I'm going to subscribe and follow you because... As of right now, I'm not. But and the, we're gonna, you guys, stay tuned because we're gonna, we're gonna this spring get out with these guys and that'd be do fun. Some That'll be bows, incredible. That'd be some fun. Guns, maybe do some black bear hunting. Yes. And um, I appreciate you both taking time out of your hunt expo today yeah. and um, and and being here with me. Yeah, well, so thank I you. It. I would, know, I wouldn't miss this for anything. Yeah, yeah, I love super you guys. fun. I don't know you, but I love you now. Yeah, okay? love you too, there, Christy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it was super fun though to shoot the shoot the crap yeah, right here. Yeah, good. very fun. Thank you guys for tuning in for this episode of the Wild Nine Cut Podcast. We will see you next time. Thank you for listening to the Wild and Uncut Podcast. If you would like to hear more, be sure to subscribe to my Pursue the Wild digital series on YouTube and follow me at Christy Titus on Facebook and Instagram.